All right, I'm here with Jake Moore to discuss the LGBT program at UNF. Tell me about your role in the LGBT program. My role in the LGBT program is to program, so um, do events, um, student education within the classroom, and then, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, so since the verbal assault in the UNF men's restroom of a transgender student on February 20th, 2014, what measures and events have been taken um, to help raise awareness for this issue? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the person was anonymous, but they um, did talk to Tom Soraka. Tom sat down with them and had dinner um, to try and see what we could do. Um, one of the things, we do have a trans support group um, that meets every Friday at 2. And so that's one of the things, kind of at least to give some of those students support. Um, we're also trying to make more gender neutral bathrooms around campus. Mm -hmm. Gender neutral means it's a single stall locking bathroom that doesn't have a gender, um, so male or female, associated with it. So um, we have a few already, um, and we have a list on the website that shows exactly where they are. So you can take a map to show you, okay, this one's in building eight or, you know, wherever the bathroom is. Yeah, I've noticed some in, like, the libraries. And mm -hmm. The library's got a few. Mm -hmm. This building, Student Union, has quite a few. Education has one on every floor, I think. So um, they're around, but um, trying to work with the space committee on getting more gender-neutral bathrooms. Yeah. Um, any new buildings, we're requesting that they all have a, at least one gender-neutral bathroom in it because mm -hmm. that's a safe space. For that person if you're in class and you go to the bathroom it's easy if you're not um, if you're male or female to just go and find a bathroom in your building you can just go it'll take two minutes you'll turn around come back the other person has to track halfway up across campus to go to the bathroom and come back and it could result in like academic issues as well as safety concerns if they don't think they can make it there in time and back then they have to use their uh, gender bathroom of choice and then further trying to you know enforce policy that sets up trans students for being able to utilize the bathroom that they identify with as well. And um, what is the LGBT program doing to bring awareness to their transgender students at UNF? Um, we, we're doing actually, uh, we do Trans uh, History Month. Okay. Um, well, it's a, technically a week, but we're kind of stretching it out to be a month. Um, we're bringing com trans community Ian Harvey to the campus. Um, he's actually coming, going to be on a TV show on Amazon called Transparent. Okay. Um, so that'll be kind of cool. He, it's sort of essentially taking a mainstream thing like a comedy show and trying to get students to come to that rather than being like, here's LGBT yeah. issues in your face. Um, you know, So making it's a little, it more fun and enjoyable precisely. While, while learning. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And being educated about the subject. All right. And um, you have um, been involved in the LGBT um, advocacy and policy updates, along with community and out community outreach. What specific policies at UNF exist to make students aware that this type of behavior is unacceptable on our campus? Mm -hmm. I don't know that there's an actual specific policy that exists that tells students, because, to, hey, you can't do this. Yeah. Mainly because students don't read policy books. Yeah. So, you know, coming in as a student, you're supposed to read the student handbook. Just like when you come in as a resident on campus, you're supposed to mm -hmm. read the resident handbook. How many people actually do that is very slim. Yeah. I happen to be one of the people that read it. Um, so that was like, so I, sometimes it's difficult for me to get when people, other people don't read these things. Yeah. But there are policies out there, such as the non-discrimination policy here at UNF that state trans, um, so basically gender identity, male, um, female, um, trans, in between, agender, um, all of that discrimination against them um, for any reason is prohibited. So it's, it's similar, it's in the same like category as religion and um, race and things like that. Um, are you working towards any future updates that may be um, made to the UNF Student Handbook or the website regar regarding etiquette and policies directing towards the LGBT community? So you can repeat it. Like, are you trying to make changes, more changes to the handbook? Like maybe more rules or laws that state? I think mostly what we're trying to focus on is education. Okay. Because once you're aware of something, right. um, you know, that's really what's going to trump. If there's a rule about it, you're going to want to break it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you teach somebody, you know, this is what this is, this is why this is an issue, they're more apt to, 
go along with it or at least under, be able to understand it. Yeah. It's like you just have to make them open-minded because a lot of people don't like change. Right, right. And that's a really big deal. Um, saying that, there are a bunch of um, other transgender people in, like, they go to UNF that don't attend or that aren't a part of the LGBT community. How would you try to tell them that this is a safe place and that they can come here whenever and, like, to welcome them into the program? Um, I think some of the things we're doing, um, orientation. Mm -hmm. So this past summer, through orientations, we've worked with the Interfaith Center to kind of just give students an understanding of what Student Affairs has to offer, one of which being the LGBT Center. Yeah. And um, so the main two focuses were Interfaith and LGBT. Mm -hmm. um, so talking to the students before they even get here and saying, like, look, we're this great open space, and kind yeah. of giving them a general idea of people that come to the center, mm -hmm. um, whether they be straight, LGBT, um, questioning, any of, yeah. you know, all of the above, you know, we're an accepting space. We we try not to, we don't prohibit anybody from being there unless, um, you know, somebody's caused like an issue in the, like, you know, they want to be homophobic. Right. You know, blatant. You can, mm -hmm. you know, we, we try to educate, so we're not going to say, if you have a certain, you know, understanding, we're not going to take say you can't be here, but if you act out. Um, then that would be something so. very disrespectful but right well thank you for your time and thank you for letting me interview you and that is jake moore yes. on the subject of lgbt um the lgbt program and gender pronouns thank you uh -huh.